It's the final day of the untamed African mountain bike race, the Absa Cape Epic. Today, the world's best mountain bikers, together with aspiring amateurs, will finish an eight-day journey of a lifetime through South Africa's Western Cape. Stage 7 leads from Oak Valley to the renowned polo field in Val de Vie, and on the 85 kilometers, the riders will tackle 1,350 meters of climbing, with the climber Franschuk Pass being the toughest. Nino Schurter and Matthias Sternemann are in the men's yellow leader jerseys and are almost seven minutes ahead of second place Christoph Sarza and Yaroslav Kulhavi. It's going to be almost impossible for Investec Songo Specialized to make up the deficit to the Scots Ram team. As the start gun goes, the riders leave Oak Valley in Elgin for the final time and Kulhavi and Centurion Divided 2 lead the bunch out of Grabo and into the mountains. The Hunsgrohe women's leaders jerseys are worn by Esther Zeus and Jenny Stenerhaag of Team Mirandal CBC. With a lead of more than 35 minutes ahead of Mirska Strauss and Annie Lars of the Hunsgrohe team, the women's race is all but over. Suss and Stenerhaag lead the rest of the field out of Oak Valley and today it's all about securing the prestigious stage win. At the front of the men's race, the wearers of the African leaders' jerseys, Philip Bass and Matthijs Vierkes of Paiga Eurostil, pick up the pace on the first climb. But mostly the other leading teams are still in the mix. The pace is hot and the leaders mark each other as they all look for a stage win at Val de Vie. When Manuel Fumik of Team Cannondale Factory Racing drops off, the German and his partner Enrique Avancini lose contact with the lead group and fall behind. With the leaders heading towards Franschuk Pass, the dominant rider of this year's Absa Cape Epic, Nino Schurter, moves to the front and leads a group with both Scott teams, Investex Ongo Specialized, Centurion Voda 2, Trek Celis and Marco 2, onto the biggest climb of the day, a 7km haul that rises over 400 metres. Coming over the pass, the leading team start the descent and towards the bottom of the descent they head into the Land Rover technical terrain. The two Scott teams, Centurion Voda 2, Trek Celis and Marco, have a gap of around 20 seconds to the chasing group with Investex Songo Specialized, Paga Eurostil and Mitas Superior. Led by the Czech powerhouse Jaroslav Kulhavi, the three chasing teams soon catch the lead group and now seven teams are together. Flying past the iconic statue of Nelson Mandela outside the Drakenstein Correctional Center, the leading teams head into the last 10 kilometers of the stage. Andre Frischnick and Michael van der Hayden make a break and race towards their second stage victory, ahead of Trek Celis and Marco and the jubilant overall winners Nino Schurter and Matthias Sternemann, who celebrate their first ever Absa Cape Epic win. What a triumph for Schurter and Sternemann, with Christoph Sauser and Jaroslav Kulhavi in second, Nikola Robach and Daniel Gismay in third. In the Hunsgrohe women's race, the top ladies stay together throughout most of the stage. But towards the end, ascend as health with Sabine Spitz and Robin de Kruert and the Hunsgrohe Cadence OMX Pro team of Mariska Strauss and Annie Last make a break and Spitz and de Kruert secure the stage victory in a dramatic sprint finish. Third on the day, the overall winners Esther Suss and Jenny Stenerhaag of Mirandal CBC who claim one of the most coveted titles in mountain biking. In the Masters category, former Tour de France winner Cadell Evans and his partner George Hincapie clawed back time on each of the last few stages. They not only won the stage, but also secured the overall Absa Cape Epic victory in the Dimension Data Masters category.